Okay. Let me back on up. Back on up. Back on up. Back, back, back on up. Back on up. Hope y'all enjoy that video of the storm. <laughs> These clouds are looking when they have round two coming in now. We might have round two coming in now. Yes, I'm all on my way to do Grand Theft Auto again. We got three. Hopefully, when I get back, he's got all of them found. We're down to three. And I found the app where you can download the entire map and search for the things that way easier. So hopefully, by the time I get back out there, he's got them all found. I don't know, LC. I had to make a pit stop while I'm over there, and I keep having them daggone peppermint, so I had to go get me some peppermints. Oh, haha. -ha. Did you know that when you hit the gas in your car, it does something to make the tires roll and you move? You know, when I was a kid, I used to think when you're in a car going down the road, your tires and everything turn, but it wasn't you moving in the car. It was the earth moving under you. That's what I used to think as a kid. Something else as a kid, I had a very irrational fear. I don't know why, but I had the fear that... If I've told this story before, I'm sorry. But I had this fear that my grandparents' house, they, they uh, live in a single wide trailer. It's one of those where you have the master bedroom on one end, living room, kitchen, and you have the hallway. You got a bedroom over to your left, bathroom over to your left, and then there's a room past the bathroom, you know, that takes up that entire part of the house. I used to... For some reason, when I was a kid, I can't explain, I used to be afraid that when I came out of using the restroom that there'd be a massive granddaddy long leg come out of there and get me. I don't know why, but I used to be scared that a granddaddy long leg was going to jump out of that uh, bedroom one day and get me. That's just one of my irrational fears that I had. That gum, this wind has kicked up. It has gotten kicked up by something. Da 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 la 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 Thank you people still doing the old speed limit. It's 45 out there here now people. I think y'all are still doing 35. Yeah, the way these claws look, it looks like it's uh, getting set up for a uh, round two. Did you know? Did you know? I don't know. I was going to say something else right now, but I don't remember now. So I was turning to the Did You Know song. Days in and switch! Or is it suits? Maybe go in there and get a room to give you a free suit. That'd be weird. <laughs> Here's your room key. Here's your suit. Don't put it on. You gotta uh, put it on when you, you gotta wear the suit the whole time you're staying here. And then uh, return it when you go home. I gotta figure out how to do this now because I got a new bucket. This uh, company's got a new bucket. So I gotta figure out how to get the daggone thing open now. I think I just broke it. Oh, man, I want my peppermint. I think I did break it. Okay. Uh, um, sir, there, there's a little thing on your, on, beside your steering wheel. You, 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 you can flick it and, 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 and it will turn on a blinker. So, yeah. Did you know that? There's a little thingy on your, on the side of your cars. It's yellow color. It's colored yellow. And, 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 and there's a switch usually beside your steering wheel. That, that when you hit it. It starts blinking! And, and, and it lets people know which way you're going. It, it, it's an amazing invention. Even though some people ain't figured out how it works yet. Some people ain't figured out the, the, the way it works yet. Dead gummit. I'm gonna find a way to break this thing open one way or another. I want my pepper wrench, dead gummit. There's gotta be a way to do this. Crap. I'm gonna fight to get this bucket open, dead gummit. This is what I'm talking about when I want my pepper mints. I get my daggone peppermints. Casa Ole! 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 I know there's a song that I used to love that had like a techno beat to it and they were doing that. Ole! 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 I don't remember the name of the song or nothing like that, but it, 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 it's a song. These people are slowing down like a mile down the road before they turn into Jaco Bell. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they're going to turn down the next road. Or maybe they, uh, they found the thingy, and they don't know what it does, so they're driving with it on. 
because they don't know what it means. They just know it's flashing. There's a little arrow inside of the car flashing too. They know what it means. Did you also know that um, if you look at your gas, if you get a car, and you're not sure where the gas gauge is, use oh, that's figured out. <laughs> I just got yeah, it open. Yeah, I got my mints. I started opening it the wrong way the whole time. It's so daggum easy. Anyways, um, usually when you buy a car... Oh, crap, I'm putting those in the wrong pocket. That's my change pocket. I need to get the pocket. <coughs> yes, I have certain pockets for certain things. Anyways, did you know that when you buy a car, if you're unsure on where to put gas into that, usually, not all cars have it, but some cars have a little arrow pointing besides the you know, little gas thing. Usually there's an arrow pointing beside it, and whatever which way the arrow is pointing, that's where the thing is on your car. That, um, to put gas in it. And, uh, also, if there's no arrow there, look at the side of the thing, you know, it's got that little, looks like a gas nozzle with the hose going off of it. Usually, if there's no arrow pointing, you know, I'm still set up in my pocket with peppermints. Usually, if there's no arrow pointing to the gas tank, you'll be you'll be on the side of the car that that holds the pictures on. Like you know, it looks like the thing that goes inside your car with the holes coming off of it. You'll be on you know whatever side of the gas tank tank thing on your gas pump looking thing on your car is that's the side that your that your uh, gas tank will be on. All your not your gas tank, your gas tank's never on either either side of the vehicle. It usually takes up the you know, it's like a big thing that takes up the entire, you know, it's, it's as wide as a car is. It's not like your gas tank sitting on one side of the car. Technically, it's sitting on both sides of the car. It just has that thing coming out on one side and putting the gas in it, you know. Man, it got dark in that video. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but that day gonna win. Blow it! Ha <laughs> ha! goes the apartments we used to live in. Yeah, Sea Creek. Oh, I can't wait to get over here, chill out, and play some GTA. Here soon, hopefully, we'll be at 100%. I think as of right now, we're like at 76%, something like that. Hey, hey, hey! First time in a while I get to come this way like this. First time in a while I didn't get stopped with that light. I'm almost there, y'all. Y'all can't hear me, but I'm almost there. Yeah, yes sir. Also, something else I used to think about as a kid, I've seen that speed limit sign right there, it says speed limit 50. I used to think that when they, the way that they set speed limits, what they would do is they would uh, send a car down the road, let it drive a certain speed. Like they, I think I used to think they started like 20 or 30 miles an hour. And that one go down all the way down the road, 30 miles an hour. Send another car down the road at 40. Then send another one down the car at 50. Send another car down at 60. Whatever speed that car wrecked at, they would set the speed limit 10 miles below that. That's, that was my concept of how they said speed limits on roads when I was a kid. I was thinking if there was a car going down the road and it wrecked at 60 miles an hour, then they set the speed limit at 50. Or if a car wrecked doing 80, they would set the speed limit at 70. I'm doing that because this daggum driveway man sneaks up on me every once in a while. But that was my concept on how uh, they would set speed limits as a kid. Even though you're not moving, it's the earth moving under you. I don't know how that makes sense, but you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all can see me or not, because according to my phone screen, you can't see crap. You just hear me. But like I said, I got that thingy on my phone. It automatically makes it dim and bright and different lighting, so... I don't see how the screen... You know, I don't see how the camera really sees. I just see how the, how the screen sees it, you know what I mean? There's a house right here to my left right now. It's got a fence around it for a dog. I thought it's funny in a way because I came through here. That dog's as tall as the fence is. 
I was like, ha, that's funny. All he gotta do is stand up, like, I'm stand up, get legs over it, and hop over it, and be gone. Ah, here it is, the spot where they got a house split in half, you drive right through the center of it. I guess they're gonna set it up right there. There's an empty lot right there. Another house right there, it looks like a triple wide right there. They don't look like a single wide, that looks like a triple wide. Do, do, do. And we off again. I see the house! You wanna see the house? No, you can't, because the camera's facing me. Ha ha. Alright then. We're gonna go in here. We're going... Oh, 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 I don't wanna hit the kitty. I don't wanna hit the kitty. Watch out, kitty! He's running! He's running! Alright, I am in the yard. Oh, now I am. <laughs> we are good to go. Let's go play some GTA.